हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू ब्रेकिंग कोर्स टुडे विल सॉल्व द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम द नेम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज कैंडीज साउंड्स डिलीशियस एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज नॉट दैट डिफिकल्ट द लिंक ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज इन डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन ऑलवेज सी इट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हाट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव वील बी गिवन सम कैंडी बॉक्सेस लाइक टेक एन एग्जाम्पल लाइक वी हैव थ्री बॉक्सेस and the number of candies in the boxes will be different all we have to do is equalize the number of candies in the boxes like for example in box number 1 we have one candy in box number 2 we have one candy in box number 3 we have four candies so to equalize the number of candies in the box we have to transfer one candy from box 4 to box 2 we have to transfer another candy from box 3 to box 1 and so the number of candies will be 2 which is equal in each and every box so this is what we have to do because we have to like give this boxes to children and we have to avoid fight between them so in this problem what we have to find is total number of moves that will be required to shift the candies like in this problem the originally the problem was we have four candies in box number 3 we shifted one candy from box 3 to box 2 so it will count as one move and another move would be shifting another candy from box 3 to box 1 this would be another move so total number of moves will be 2 so we require two moves to equalize the number of candies in each and every box now uh, we have to crack the algorithm and logic for this problem if we have a example uh, like uh, after equalizing we get two two candies in each and every box what is the link between this number 2 and the total number of candies that we have like total number of candies that we have is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 candies total number of boxes is 3 and after the division the number of candies become 2 so the obvious link between these numbers is 6 divided by 3 will be 2 so we always have to find like the average of the total number of candies like uh, div- uh, sum of the total number of candies divided by the total number of boxes and we get the number of candies in each box now take another example like we have only two boxes i told you i mess up in drawings in for box number 1 we have three candies in box number 2 we have four candies So in this situation, we cannot transfer one candy from box number two to box number one, because then this will be the situation, which is pretty much the same. And so we cannot divide the candies in equal numbers. So for this case, our program should print minus one as the answer, so that it indicates we cannot divide the candies in equal number. So how to identify such cases? Like if we take example, total number of candies would be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. and the boxes would be 2 so the answer comes in something point so we have to just neglect that answer and we have to just print a simple thing that the candies cannot be equally divided into boxes so after division if we get answer as a integer which indicates that the candies can be equally divided and uh, if we get a answer in decimal so it indicates that we cannot divide the candies in equal number in each and every box So this was our earlier example which we took uh, so the answer uh, which we got was 2 the number of moves which we require from uh, to equalize the number of candies in each and every box so how did we uh, get this answer to like how can we crack the logic so we have to shift two candies so after getting the average which we got like total number of candies 6 divided by number of boxes which is 3 we get 2 2 is the average that is uh, two candies should be present in each and every box after the division so in order to do this we have to find the boxes containing more than two candies which is box number 3 so it contains two candies uh, more than two like uh, it has four candies what it should have after a uh, division of the candies is two so we have to just remove that many candies and what we get is 2 so this is the number of moves that we get this is a, pre- a pretty simple logic uh, uh, that you can understand that if we want two candies in this box and now there are four we have to remove two and that would be the number of moves so uh, in such problem what we have to do is find all the boxes in this example which are having greater number of candies than your average and just remove that many candies from the boxes 
and you will get the number of moves that you require okay so let's take another example and now we have five boxes and the candies are divided unequally we have to remove the candies from a boxes which are having greater number of candies and put them into the boxes having lower number of candies so to find the total number of candies we have in total 25 candies the number of boxes is 5 so 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5 so there should be total 5 candies in each and every box so what we have to do like take 2 candies from this box because it has 7 and put 2 candies in this box so they equalize each other take 1 candy from this box and put it in this one so they again equalize each other and the candies are equally uh, divided so all we uh, that we require is uh, two moves that is we shifted two candies from box number five to box number four so total number of moves will be two and then again we shifted uh, a candy from box number three to box number two so one move and the total number of moves is three so uh, from our logic that we cracked earlier let's find whether we get the same thing so the original example was this Now in this example, uh, find the number of boxes containing more number of candies than your average. The average is 5 in this case. So boxes containing more than 5 candies is this box, box number 5 and this box, box number 3. So how many candies they, uh, that we need to take out from them to make, it, uh, make the total count in that box is 5. So from this box we have to take these two candies and from this box we have to take one candy. And so three candies we need to take out uh, to uh, equalize the sum and therefore uh, like we, uh, to make uh, five candies in each and every box. So three candies and what we uh, got the answer as three. The, so, the, uh, so our logic sounds pretty much correct and this is the logic for this problem. So guys this was the pseudo code for this example. What we have to do is consider a variable n. n is number of candies, total number of candies. The second variable is m, m is total number of boxes. Now use a if loop, if condition, if n mod m is equal to equal to 0. That means if the division of n by m is uh, the remainder is equal to 0. This means that the candies can be equally divided into the number of boxes. And that's why we use our logic. And uh, if the candies cannot be equally divided, we just print minus 1. So in this bracket we have our own logic, we take a variable average avg, uh, it means that uh, to, uh, number of candies after the division, final number of candies after the division, then avg is equal to n, n by m as we have discussed earlier and in this bracket what we have to do is use our logic that we have discussed earlier like find the number of boxes having more number of candies than this average variable like if the like if take an example if our average is equal to 5 and then we found uh, and then we find a box with total number of candy 6 so what we have to do is subtract 6 with the average and what we get is 1 and then add this 1 to the uh, to our variable take the variable as moves which indicates total number of moves that we require uh, and keep on adding the, uh, these numbers to our uh, variable moves and at the end just print this variable moves and we'll get our final answers. So this was the logic for this example. Uh, this was not that difficult. You just stick on the complexity of the problems will increase. Just keep coding. Goodbye.